Hello from Bug Eye Guys. This is a Bug Eye we call Keith. It is a very nicely painted Old English White Bug Eye. You can see three different flavors of Old English White. They're all a little bit different, but they're pretty much all in the same family. This is a nice car. Good body work was done. It was just repainted recently, and the seams and lines are in good shape. I like what I see. You don't have the blisters that we often encounter. It's a good straight car. Now, like all of these cars, there are some anomalies. Everybody seems to have a different way of doing stuff. This one has a 1500 exhaust system, so the muffler crosses the back and exits on the passenger side for a left-hand drive. And we would probably take that off and put the single pipe out, which is, that would be more stock like that one on the driver's side. But that's a relatively easy thing to fix. More importantly, and much harder to fix, is that all this isn't dinged and dented. It does have the later license plate light plinth. This would be the correct one. But even that is not terribly difficult for us to change, and I think that's the big advantage of working with us, is that we can basically modify, edit, change anything that the new owner wants. Uh, you're starting with a nice foundation and a good car and that's what I think is most difficult to find. This is also a nice straight grill and a good front bumper. So you have a very beautiful car in terms of how it presents. I see some other little things like these. These are the tonneau holes, and this is, you've, you've heard me talk about this before. If you're familiar with our videos, this is from someone trying to figure out where to fit the tonneau and then not cleaning that up before they painted the car. So. This would be the factory one. This is an extra errant hole. We need to fill that and paint it. So that would be an example of something that we could also do. These are velour seats, which are, I've seen a few of these over the years. So somebody was making these at some point, sort of a JC Whitney-esque kind of a thing, but they're perfectly fine. And if you don't like them, we've got lots of other options. We can put in leather seats. We can make some black with white piping or all black, but I don't think I would rush to change these other than a little nick here. They're in really nice shape. Here comes the train, so we're gonna pause for a second. Well, that was quick. On its way to Boston. Anyway, there's also a little bit of imperfection in the carpet here, and we we can change these to the Hardora mats. We can put in a new black kit. We can change the tunnel piece. There's a little bit of a gap right here. But you know, if you're watching this and you're a customer for a bug eye, you're looking for a bug eye, maybe you don't care and that's fine by us. We just want you to know what you'd be getting if you chose this car. There's a little bit of a, a burn damage here of some sort. I don't know if... I don't smell cigarette smoke, but it looks almost like a cigarette burned that a little bit. The rest of the carpet is in fine shape and the panels are in good shape and the dash is in fine shape as well. So we do have this one blank here where there would have been a washer pump. There's a little lump there, but this could be fit with a cigarette lighter or a washer pump for that matter. Totally up to the new owner once again. So in the boot. There are a few marks on the seat here. I hadn't seen. There is a top back here and the back, the boot looks like in good shape and here's the top bow with the holders for the bow. So all that's in place and the cockpit trim's in nice shape and these fittings are in place for a tonneau or the top. And the rubber's in well, these can be replaced easily enough, but they're cracked here, but this gasket is good and the chrome on the bumpers is good. You know, all in all, I think this is just a very nice car and we're happy to edit it, change it, improve it, modify it, however you like. And that's what we have this week here. Let's take a quick look under the hood of this Bug Eye Keith. This is a good car that's been repainted recently and the engine bay is nice and clean. The firewall is good and clean. You have a stock radiator, we can change that to aluminum. There is already a seven blade fan in place or a six blade, it's a metal fan, not a plastic one. And there's a good rib case transmission. Would like to put a new heater valve in. 
but there's an uh, electronic ignition and a Protronics distributor and a spin-on oil filter already done. It's a good 1275 engine with nice power and the HS2 carbs. So there's a lot to like here. We have uh, .5 silicone brake fluid and a good clean engine bay. So we have these new tires, as I mentioned. Disc brakes in the front, no sway bar. That's another upgrade that we might do. And we also have a, a better air filter. These foamy ones are not my favorite, but uh, they certainly work fine. We can just improve them with the, the K&N product that we sell. And that's the engine bay on Keith here at Bug Eye Guy.